Well, hello again. It's Forrest Brazil at Trek 10, and you're listening to Think Faz, where we learn about the world of serverless computing in less time than it takes to run a Lambda function. Today, we're going to be doing something just a little bit different and hopefully fun. Over the weekend, there was a bit of a challenge that went out on Twitter regarding a serverless versus containers rap battle. This being Think Faz, we felt that it was appropriate to take up that challenge, and so we've dropped a little beat here for you all to enjoy. So without further ado, the serverless versus containers rap battle. You can call me crazy by the time my mama raised me. Servers make me nervous, but serverless never fazed me. Maybe I'm just lazy, but why deploy a box when abstraction brings the action for a fraction of the cost? My code is in a zip file, requirements in a pit file. Cram it in a lambda with Sam while I do a ship while standing proud in the cloud on the shoulders of the giants. What you need a server for the values in the clients. Yeah, but I wish there was something more portable to wrap my app in. Oh wait, there is, it's called containers. They make crap happen. Check it out, I can build the way I used to. Open source is dope, of course, run it where I choose to. Automate and orchestrate with Kubernetes at the helm. Hand on my tiller, I'm a killer in the service realm. Plus all these Hello World tutorials are slick. So someone call the docker, cause the stack is looking sexy. This is what you do, it's insane. You overcomplicate the name, Kubernetes, so arcane. You spell it with an eight. I'm no cloud economist, but I'm sure you don't want to miss the savings you could find if you put your mind to simplifying this. Are you building Pixar? Is your name John Lasseter? Then why you need a service? Service mesh, why you need ambassador? Istio, really though this kingdom isn't magic. You throw it in production and the outage gonna be tragic. Hey, take a breath, man. You ran kinda long there. 15 minute timeout, you gotta save your song there. You got limitations. I run applications. Every enterprise has their eyes on containerizations. Why? Long jobs, real time, doesn't matter. I eat hard problems for mealtime, so pass the platter. So many industries left to disrupt. I know your cold start makes it hard, but try to keep up. Check it one, two, three, he's getting warmer. Wait and see the latency's no worse than your complacency. Face it, see you're basically chasing the place you don't want to be my services improve all by themselves, they get better. Meanwhile, you're out of luck, stuck chucking out the cheddar. Hey, remember Spectre and Meltdown? You were up all night. Me, I slept. That's right, the cloud provider kept it tight. You can patch your run times, I'll have happy fun times. Delivering value while, pal, you fight the same old fight. That sounds great, but wait, let's use our brains here. Yo, I got constraints here. I'm running Java 8 here. Digging in the brownfield, moving the ball downfield. Can't re-architect it all until we look respectable. I just want to build more, that's what I get billed for. Lambda gives me power, our past selves would have killed for. I know, I'm just saying, we're in a different state of being. Yeah, but functions are amazing, and wait, are we Agreeing? Yo, I think it's possible that both of these architectural approaches are valid in different scenarios. I hesitate to admit it, but obviously use cases support both of our positions. Truce? Truce. Let's bring it home. Ultimately, both of us have the same destination. Get rid of heavy lifting without differentiation. So whether your abstraction is a function or a node, you can get a lot of traction, just keep trucking on the road. And if your app goes down at 3 a.m., and it will, you gotta own that, it's your problem still. There's, There's no silver bullet, bullet hocus pocus, pocus managed guarantee, guaranteed. but when business is your focus, you'll be where you wanna be. Hey, that felt good. All right, we're not friends. Sorry. Hey, what does this error mean? Process exited without completing re 